CBS 2 News this morning in high definition. This graduation season, thousands of parents and new grads are justifiably proud of their accomplishments. But this morning, the story of one young grad who truly overcame overwhelming odds to graduate. Dr. Max Gomez here to tell us about a woman who was in a coma and nearly died. That's right. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Maurice. You know, Noelle McNeil was severely brain injured after her sophomore year in college. She was so critical that even her experienced doctors feared she would never get any better than a, than a minimally conscious state, making what Noelle did two weeks ago beyond amazing. I was living life. <laughs> I was 20 years old. I was a lifeguard. I sure showed all the time. It was a big part of my life. And what happened was the horse refused at the jump and lost his balance and fell down. And my head got the brunt of the horse. You get the phone call that every parent dreads and um, all I heard, my, I just heard myself screaming. I, we weren't sure if she was going to be alive or dead when we got there. Noelle McNeil was in a coma. She was near death with a massive brain injury. It was more than a week before she started to come out of it. Well, I'm going to cry right now talking about it. Um, and then little by little, she just continued to, to show more signs of, of awareness. And it was very slow and very long. Uh, but that's when things got really hard. Noelle recreated for us just a little of the hard work it took to recover her brain function. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, always making you do just what you can't quite do. Um, it, it's very, very hard work and very discouraging. So discouraging that the former athlete wasn't sure she wanted to even try. When I came to realize I was in a wheelchair, I had all these tubes, all this stuff going on. I was like, you know what? I don't want to live like this. Please get me two cyanide pills. Noelle got past her depression and over five long, hard months of rehab at JFK Medical Center in Edison, she learned to stand and walk again, to swallow, to talk, and put sentences together. And then Noelle decided to really challenge herself. She was going to go back to college. They actually called and were like, listen, I think it's going to be very bad for her if she starts in this and fails miserably and really feels defeated. Not only did Noelle not fail, just a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> Noelle graduated from Monmouth University. Very, very, I'm not, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Noelle still walks a little awkwardly and her right hand is partially paralyzed. But just remember that in less than five years, she's gone from this to this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, Noelle is going to relax this summer and then go back to her public speaking. Mm. She's been an inspirational speaker for groups from all walks of life, from preschoolers to retirement homes to doctors and lawyers. And there are few people who are as inspirational as Noelle. Mm. Well, mm. count us among the inspired. Yes. Yeah. Wow. There's got to be some other medical lessons we can learn here, too, right? Well, there's a, there's a few, actually, and, and not the least of which is the fact that as we continue to learn more and more about the brain, we realize that the brain has all sorts of recuperative abilities that we didn't think it had. In fact, when we, you know, in medical school, we learn whatever you get after the first year, you're done, but you can continue to work and, and recuperate. Also, it takes an incredibly dedicated team of uh, therapists and a lot of family support to make something like Noel's case actually happen. All of which goes together to help what we hope will be a lot of the uh, brain injured vets that are coming back from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, the lessons that we learn with, from people like Noel are things that may easily be applied to all of the brain injured vets that are coming back. Wow. Wow. How about never give up? Yeah, do yeah, not say, quit. Don't, wow. don't give up. I mean, it takes you. I mean, you go through a, a, a kind of a down, a low, a depression sure. there, that, as Noel did, but then she got it back together and she really, um, it, it was her. She yeah, really she was staring at this huge mountain. How can I get up at it? And she just did it. Exactly. That's she amazing. Sure did. Yeah. I was awesome. And yeah. excited about really it, too. Was. Yeah. Can't Thanks blame so her. Much. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, good morning, Josh. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Reese. And now that we're inspired, let us take on the day and let us take something light, wear, light to wear. It's, gonna, it's hot.